DJ now? I'm not sure if I'm denying that actually. I think I was when I came here today. <laughs> Tickets, and then I see big signs everywhere saying double the merits. I'm thinking, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'd be thinking they're going to come soon, but I was only going a little bit over the speed, but maybe they won't arrive. And then um, two days ago, two came from New South Wales. Now I know there's one from Queensland coming too. I didn't get the second flash. <laughs> um, and, um, so there's now three of you coming. I handled it by thinking, oh, I'm just going for a walk. I look in the mailbox and um, saw them there and thought, I'll oh, just open one. <laughs> I'll just leave them in the mailbox and go for the door. <laughs> and then I thought, okay, the next time I've got to get them out. Um, so I got them to my desk. So you left them in there for a day, did you? Yeah. yeah. I got them to my desk. And I didn't want to spoil the soul of singing, but yeah. <laughs> I got them to my desk. And I've, I've now read one. I don't know the other one's the same. And it's spoiled the merit points. Which is all your points. This is all my points. Uh, yeah. I got one to come. And you got one to come. So I'm thinking, okay. But my reaction to it a while back would have been, oh my god, <laughs> this is terrible. But my reaction to it's actually not been that. Um, I'm thinking, oh well, you know, my speedo must be wrong because. Um, <laughs> 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 Yeah. And I was not doing 15 k's over, I know that. Yeah. Uh, and I suspected for a but while... But you didn't slow down. <laughs> well, I did. Oh, okay. after that. I didn't see the second 60 moment. Right. Right. But I sort of thought to myself, well, my brother sort of told me all different ways I can get out of all this. And I thought, no, I've got to be honest about this and say I was driving, it was me. Um, and, well, okay, so what's wrong if I lose my license for a few months? And I've got to be slowing down, haven't I? Don't know, that's the way it's going to go. So I've actually accepted it, so I'm worried now that I'm actually going to know it. <laughs> I don't really have a lot of emotion about it. I just feel that I'll be looked after and that I'm, I'm going too fast and I know that and that I need to slow down and my life is going to take that turn now anyway. And I thought, oh, well, that's all right. I'll do just take that punishment. If I've got to lose my license, I've got to lose my license and find another way around it, but I'll be looked after for sure. So you know, notice, I'm firstly, Carol, that you're thinking a lot. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. The, the first feeling was, the, let's go back to the first feeling, yeah. which is, you know, you open your little box yeah. and see them, and then you put it back down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that straight away tells you that there's a fair bit being covered over inside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And what happened from then to the next day when you pulled out your mark was that you intellectualised it all the way. And in the process of intellectualising it away, you've come up with some really, really good arguments. <laughs> but the truth is your law of attraction has just attracted 12 demerit points. Yeah. So there must be an emotion. But, but AJ, my law of attraction in every other field is so good. No, see, see now you're trying to justify <laughs> that your law of attraction is good in all these other places, so therefore you, you can ignore this emotion. Uh, <laughs> no, I was speeding. I must have been speeding. No, but that's not the emotion. Mm -hmm. can, can everyone see just for a moment? It is this, we're going to have long chats about the law, the law of attraction at some point, right? First thing with the law of attraction, you will be able to reason yourself out of it really easily. You will. You can do that. You can choose to do that. And most of us do that all of our life. We reason ourselves out, reason ourselves out. Oh, but it was this, and oh, but it was that, and oh, but I didn't see this, and oh, but... You know, we go through all of that, that, that whole process. But the truth is, these events were attracted by your soul emotion, not by anything else. Now, the key is to allow that soul emotion to be triggered by these events. Now, 
there's a big soul emotion in here that you are totally unaware of that I can feel about it the instant you said about the demerit points. As soon as you said the word demerit points, there was this big emotion inside of you that you did not feel that I could feel. And this will, I, and I want to say this to the majority of you, will be like this with lots of issues. There will be lots of things go on in your own processing where you are, you feel totally unaware of what it is, and then all of a sudden you'll come to a point of awareness, a point of what I would call intellectual realization that there is an issue. At the moment, you are not even allowing yourself to intellectually realize there's an issue because you're using all of the tools that you've learned from childhood about skipping over the law of attraction in order to avoid the actual emotion. Now, the majority of us do this with all of our lives, right? What we do is we have an event happen to us and then what we do is we use our head and we come up with all these different reasonings that we have inside of us to actually skip over the emotion that that law of attraction has been there for to trigger. And we do this all the time. So this is what is happening with you with that issue. You feel here, you think here actually, that you've dealt with this issue. But if you had dealt with this issue, you would not have actually got any fines. Can you just justify yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. I'm sorry, I, I, I see too much. And, uh, yes. and then my life's too fast. Because I think that that is because I was going for a walk and I thought, this is the week I'm going to look after myself. When we go for a walk, I'm going to relax. So, start the final you have What's the feelings you have inside of yourself about authority? Stop you for a moment. When I said that, did any of you actually feel what Carol's feelings were about authority? Yes. Yeah. I just wanted to point out that that you can feel it when you say a word. There's a trigger word that goes on, and straight away there's a feeling that you feel from that person. And by the way, many of you have the same issue with authority. Right? So, so let's go on. Okay. My feeling then is that I don't think that they're always right. So. All right. Yeah. The truth is, can I tell you how you really feel about authority? Yeah. You feel like rebelling against authority pretty often. In fact, the majority of the time you can get away with it. Okay, that's the feeling that's going on inside of yourself. Now there's a reason for that. There's a deeper emotional reason inside of yourself about that. Can you see what it might be related to in your childhood? What, what was your relationship with your dad and your mum? What kind of relationship? And who was the authority? Who, who was the authoritarian? Nobody really. There wasn't anybody around us at the time. When they were around. See how that all relates to this. What, how many of you feel that all the laws are just a big, like, superficial game? How many of you actually feel most of the laws that we have in the country are just a big superficial game? Yeah. I, I do. <laughs> and they are. The truth is, they are. There are some laws that are beneficial, but what what are laws generally doing? They are dealing with effects, aren't they? Very rarely dealing with causes. And because they're very rarely dealing with causes, of course they're just a game. And so what feeling then arises within you? I'm not playing this game, right? I'm not, I don't want to play this game. There's a lot of emotions in you about this, Carol. So much that you attracted three, <laughs> three fines in, what was it, one day? Four hours. Four hours, okay. Yeah. So there's a, some very deep emotions in you about this particular issue that you are now skipping over into the intellectual role of skipping over and saying, oh, but I don't have much trouble with it. If I lose my licence, I lose my licence. And, you know, I'll be able to work my way around that. And 
you know, there's so many things going on inside of you intellectually, but skipping over this really, really large emotion from your childhood. It's also an emotion that's preventing your relationship with God. Now, can anybody see how that's related? It's an issue with authority preventing your relationship with God. Can anyone see what's going on there? See, if we see God's laws as authoritarian, what are we going to want to do to them? We want to break them, don't we? You want to break them. And how many of you feel like it's okay breaking God's laws? That you get away with it. Now, most of us won't own up to that, right? But the truth is, most of us have that viewpoint inside of us. We do it all the time. We do it all the time. Yeah. Like, for instance, let's look at the law of love for a moment. If I loved animals, how many of you have pets? How many of you would consider eating them? But yet, how many of you who have pets, who wouldn't consider eating them, eat a cow? So what's that? Isn't that a feeling of rebellion against the law? On one hand you love one animal, but on the other hand you'll eat the other. Isn't there an issue there? Isn't there some kind of inconsistency there? Dogs are nice for them. No. Sorry, dogs are nice to tasting, did you say? <laughs> Sorry, I did say Not me. No, 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 no. <laughs> can you see that? That's just one minor issue that I've just raised. But can you see how quite often on a daily basis we are being rebellious? We're being like children who want to break the rules. Where did that emotion come from? It has to have come from somewhere, doesn't it? And so generationally, often we have these emotions impressed upon us and these kind of events are there to actually trigger those emotions so that we can release them, so that we have a totally different viewpoint to authority. And in the end, so that we have a totally different viewpoint to God's authority. Because the truth is that God did create laws.